In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on June 28, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Dream vs. Connecticut Sun The Atlanta Dream are gearing up to face off against the Connecticut Sun in what promises to be a thrilling matchup. The Dream are currently on a three-game losing streak, most recently falling 96-75 at home to the New York Liberty on Sunday. Meanwhile, the Sun are looking to start a new winning streak after a hard-fought 94-91 overtime road victory over the Washington Mystics on Thursday. This will be the second meeting between these teams this season, setting the stage for an exciting contest. The Atlanta Dream are heading into Connecticut on the back of three consecutive losses, which has dropped their record to three games below .500 for the season. On Sunday, the Dream suffered a 96-75 defeat to the Liberty at home, marking their third straight loss. Atlanta's defense struggled, allowing the Liberty to shoot over 51% from the field, while the Dream managed to shoot below 40%. Additionally, Atlanta made only two of one seven shots from beyond the arc. Tina Charles led the team with 19 points and 7 rebounds. The Dream were without co-leading scorer Ryan Howard, who missed the game due to an ankle injury. Atlanta is aiming to end their losing streak on the road against Connecticut on Friday night. They rank last in the WNBA in scoring this season, with poor field goal and three-point shooting percentages. Defensively, the Dream are sixth in scoring defense and fifth in field goal defense, but they rank eighth in three-point defense. On the boards, they are eighth in total rebounds. Despite their struggles, they are second in the league in fewest turnovers. The Connecticut Sun started the season on fire, winning their first nine games and 13 of their first 14. However, they experienced their first losing streak last week, falling 85-70 to the Las Vegas Aces and then 72-61 to the Seattle Storm. On Thursday night, the Sun overcame a hot start by the Mystics and rallied from an early 12-point deficit to win 94-91 in overtime, thanks to 24 points from Duana Bonner. Tyasha Harris added 23 points, and Digenai Carrington contributed 22 points. The Sun returned home with hopes of regaining their winning form after being overtaken by the New York Liberty at the top of the Eastern Conference. Offensively, they ranked ninth in the WNBA in scoring, 4th in field goal percentage, and ninth in 3-point shooting. They also rank low in 3-point field goals made per game. Defensively, the Sun lead the league in scoring defense, rank 5th in field goal defense, and are 2nd in 3-point defense. They are 11th in total rebounds per game but excel in maintaining few turnovers. The Connecticut Sun have been the superior team throughout the season and are expected to dominate against the Atlanta Dream. With the Dream missing Ryan Howard, their chances of performing well are significantly reduced. When comparing team shooting percentages, Atlanta is shooting 39.2% from the field, while Connecticut is at 44%. The Sun's dominance on defense and the Dream's struggles with shooting will be pivotal in this game. Connecticut limits opponents to 20.6 three-point attempts per game, while Atlanta allows 23.8 three-point attempts per game. The Sun are formidable at home, boasting an 8-1 record, with their only home loss coming against the two-time defending champion Aces. The Sun previously defeated the Dream this season in a commanding 69-50 victory in Atlanta, where their defense held the Dream to a season-low 50 points. The Sun's defense is top-ranked in the Eastern Conference, while the Dream are last in scoring and have averaged under 70 points per game during their three-game losing streak. Atlanta's minus 5-point differential ranks 9th in the WNBA, while Connecticut's plus 8-point differential ranks 3rd. Therefore, the Connecticut Sun to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Both the Sun and the Dream rank in the bottom half of the WNBA in scoring this season. The Dream are last in scoring offense, while the Sun are 9th. 
In their first matchup, the Sun held the Dream to just 50 points, with a combined game total of 119 points. The Dream's poor shooting percentages, especially from the perimeter, will not fare well against the Sun's top-ranked defense. With the Connecticut Sun on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, they may struggle with their shooting but will likely remain strong defensively. In their last three games leading into this matchup, both teams have struggled offensively, with Atlanta averaging 70 points per game and Connecticut 71 points per game. This game is expected to be another low-scoring affair, with Connecticut winning comfortably. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Sparks vs. Phoenix Mercury The Los Angeles Sparks are gearing up to face the Phoenix Mercury in what promises to be an exciting matchup. The Sparks are currently on a six-game losing streak and recently suffered a 98-88 road loss to the New York Liberty on Saturday. Meanwhile, the Mercury are looking to recover from a 73-60 road defeat against the Minnesota Lynx, with both teams trying to determine their standings for the season. This game could serve as a crucial indicator of their potential trajectories. The Los Angeles Sparks, languishing at the bottom of the Western Conference with a dismal 4-13 record, are desperately seeking to end their current losing streak. Their offensive performance has been subpar, averaging only 78 points per game, which ranks 11th in the league. Despite this, their shooting accuracy shows promise, with a 9th-ranked field goal percentage of 42.5% and a respectable 32.2% from 3-point range. However, their rebounding efforts are lacking, as they rank 10th with just 33.4 total rebounds per game, indicating a need for improvement in securing the boards. Defensively, the Sparks allow an average of 85 points per game, placing them 10th in the league. Their defense against both field goals and three-pointers is particularly weak, with opponents shooting 45.3% and 36.6%, respectively. The Sparks possess more talent than their record suggests, but they need to halt this losing streak to realize their potential. The Phoenix Mercury, sitting in fourth place in the Western Conference with a middling 8-8 record, have demonstrated that they can compete with any team in the league. Their recent 73-60 road loss to the Lynx highlights the necessity for the team to perform well on both ends of the court to secure victories. Offensively, the Mercury are doing fairly well, averaging 82 points per game and shooting 42.1% from the floor. They are also effective from three-point range, hitting 33.3% of their attempts. At the free throw line, they are close to the league average, shooting 79.9% as a team. However, their rebounding needs improvement, as they average only 33.9 total rebounds per game. On defense, Phoenix is struggling to stop their opponents, allowing 85 points per game, which ranks ninth in the WNBA. Their field goal defense is respectable, ranking fourth at 42.4% but their three-point defense is weaker, ranking ninth at 35.4%. The Los Angeles Sparks are in the midst of a severe losing streak, and their road struggles are likely to continue against the Phoenix Mercury. The Sparks are plagued by injuries, whereas the Mercury are fully healthy. Analyzing recent offensive performances, the Sparks have averaged 78 points over their last four games, while the Mercury have been more prolific, averaging 88 points over their last five games. The Sparks have managed to cover the spread in four straight games and in seven of their last eight games as underdogs of eight or more points. However, their road performance has been abysmal, and their injury report shows no signs of improvement as they embark on their seventh consecutive road game. The Mercury previously defeated the Sparks by 19 points earlier this month and have covered the spread in seven of their last ten games, showing steady improvement since Brittany Griner's return. Therefore, the Phoenix Mercury to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Throughout the season, both teams have played at a brisk pace, with the Sparks ranking 7th with a pace of 96.85, and the Mercury ranking 3rd with a pace of 97.92. Defensively, both teams have been struggling, with the Sparks allowing 89 points over their last four games, and the Mercury conceding 87 points over their last five games. Given the defensive vulnerabilities of both teams, there is likely to be a high-scoring affair. Therefore, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.